Now, it's the 80th anniversary of the beginning of the Battle of Britain, fought in the skies over southern England back in 1940. The National Memorial at Capel the Fern near Folkestone was built to commemorate the men of the RAF, the few as they became known. And it was thanks to the efforts of Wing Commander Geoffrey Page, himself a Battle of Britain pilot at the age of just 20. He suffered terrible burns when his plane was shot down just off the Kent coast, but incredibly returned to combat flying later in the war. Sarah Smith has his story. Geoffrey Page was 20 years old when his plane was hit by enemy fire. Many years later, he described those moments when the flames engulfed him. One hand was still on the throttle and I could just remember to look at it in a rather fascinated way for a fraction of a second, just sort of seeing the burning taking place. But I also remember vividly screaming in terror the moment I was hit because uh, the, the aircraft was just a ball of fire. And then suddenly, as I was beginning to lose consciousness, um, a tremendous peace and calm uh, came and all the fear went. And I accepted the fact that I was uh, about to die. But that was not to be his time to go. He escaped the burning wreck, got plucked from the channel and taken to safety. He became one of the so-called guinea pigs, airmen burnt in battle, treated by pioneering plastic surgeon Archie McKindo in East Grinstead. After two years and 15 operations, he was back flying again, fueled this time by vengeance. Lying in bed and sort of hearing or seeing and, uh, the aircraft going out on fighter sweeps, it made me terribly envious. And I decided for every operation I had, I'd get back in the air and shoot one enemy aircraft down. At that time, it was about uh, 15 operations. I managed to get 17 aircraft in the end. It was a very hollow revenge, because after a while, one just realised how useless the whole thing was. His son Jamie remembers a kind and gentle man, as well as an exceptionally brave one. He was always a hero to us, he, he still is. The thing that made my father particularly brave was that, having been so badly burnt in the, in the earlier part of the war, then going back to combat flying, and at D-Day, he, he covered the American beaches, uh, Omaha and Utah beaches, and he actually got a cannon shell in his leg, which he hardly noticed. So that the, they were quite, they were very tough. Geoffrey Page's determination certainly didn't desert him in peacetime. When he realized there was no memorial to those who'd taken part in the Battle of Britain, he campaigned to get this built. Another victory for the pilot who never gave up. 